Okay, so this is a one, two, two press brake. Uh, this is one of the simplest press brakes, but it's extremely effective. And you can use this press brake uh, against a zone press or a man-to-man -man press. I'm gonna show you the basics right now. So, when you set this press up, you wanna make sure that your inbounder is somebody that you can trust to get the ball effectively in bounds. And then you're gonna strategically place these players in spots that are best fit for them. So if you've got your best ball handlers up in the front, and then you wanna have your decision makers, good decision makers in the back. Okay, so here's how this looks. We have our strong side elbow, we've got a weak side elbow, and then we've got our two guys at half court. On break, the options go as follows. As you know, you've got five seconds to inbound the ball. We've got one option every single second. That's how we try to time this, because we want our inbounder to understand his options and what he's got to do. So it's going to look 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000, -1, and this way everything is synchronized. Our inbounder knows exactly where he's looking, and our players know exactly what they're supposed to do. So here are your options. We've discussed in the press, when you're running the press, the defense is trying to force you to inbound the ball below the free throw line. So offensively, we want to make sure that we don't let that happen. So our first option is our guard on the strong side. He's going to try to get himself in a position where he's just around, just as high as he can be to the free throw line extended without getting too deep into the corner. And he, even if he has to make contact with this defender to give that first pass, that's what we're looking to do. So the first option, go, 1-1000, one, one great. Now if we can get him the ball, that's great. We'll talk about exactly what to do in a second, but I want to go through all the options. 1-1000, one, 2-1000, one, one, our weak guard comes down to the block, hands up, looking for the ball. 3-1000 is our opposite side, flashing to the, high, uh, to the top of the key. And then our last and fourth option is our last guy sprinting down the sideline looking for that pass. Again, not coming down too far. We don't want to put ourselves in a situation where we're in the corner. And then desperation is a one-handed baseball pass towards our basket for our four or a five flooding down the floor. That's desperation. We want to make sure that's not the case all the time. Um, okay, let's go back to our spots. And here's what we're looking to do. The rules stay the same even when the ball gets inbounded. So let's assume that we can get the ball to our first option. Ready, press break and go. Break, first option, stop, great job. Inbounder steps in. It's important to note that this inbounder throughout the entire press break is going to be what we call a safety valve. Okay, we want this guy to stay behind the ball and his job is to create the best possible passing angle to relieve pressure on this press break. So that's this guy's job right here because passing the ball backwards is going to be a little bit easier than getting it forward in these situations. But the, the guys that catch the ball, your first job is always going to be to turn and face. All right? And as soon as that turn and face takes place, we are looking to get the ball to the middle on an opposite side flash, hit, our offside floods, our top guy floods, and we're looking to go get that ball up the floor and finish as quick as we possibly can. Great job. Come back, sprint back. Okay, same thing if we hit option two. Ready, give it a second, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, hit, stop, no, no. Go back, that's okay, because remember, always gonna have that opposite side guy flash. So again, in this case, we'd be here, we'd be turning and facing, looking there, our offside is gonna flood, flood, and, and go, and we're gonna push the ball up the floor, just like we did before, okay? And again, 
Option three would be the same exact thing. As soon as we get that ball to the middle, it puts the press in a really tough spot because we're relieving so much pressure. We have both sides of the floor to work with. So that's our ultimate goal, and that's the order of operations that we have um, to do that. <clears throat> so let's go through one other situation. Let's go to option one, get, hit. Now, on this, a turn and face, just another important thing to note is on this trap, okay, the other way to relieve pressure on the offensive side of the floor, you want to try to avoid dribbling through a press as much as you possibly can, but there are situations where our guards get really stuck, and so that's where you're going to learn here how to either try to get to the sideline and beat this guy up the sideline, that's going to be a pressure release, or another pressure release, which is even worse, is what we call a split. And that's, here's how you do that. This guard is going to tuck the ball into his stomach, and he's going to take his knee and drive through the trap, push down, and now we're flooding up the floor. Okay? So that is your one, two, two press breaker. As you can see, it's all about who's going to execute better. The defense is looking to get you to inbound the ball below the free throw line and in the deep corners. We're doing everything we can to not let that happen and to get the ball to the middle of the floor, relieve pressure for ourselves, and flood up and get easy layups on our press break.